To the average viewer, this looks like a dirty rat in a hole. But hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll see it as something far more. A dirty squirrel in a hole that just so happens to be one of the planet's smartest animals. And no, I'm not saying that like how your mom says that Sears gift card you got her for her birthday once was one of the best presents she's ever gotten. I mean legitimately, this unassuming rodent has some of the craziest feats of intelligence I've ever seen. Stuff that'll make the fact that your beagle understands what the word walk means seem really dumb by comparison. In this video, I'm gonna explain just what makes these little guys so intelligent and some other pretty neat facts that'll hopefully make you see prairie dogs in a whole new light. Now, I was initially planning on doing this video while sitting next to some wild prairie dogs looking totally just Discovery Channel professional, but uh, upon visiting their natural habitat of a vacant lot behind a Walgreens, I realized that would be kind of lame, so instead I traveled down to Southeast Texas where I knew a couple of captive prairie dogs that are way more camera friendly. Unfortunately, as you'll see throughout this video, they also like to bite and pee on me. Alrighty guys, here we are at Gator Country and as you can tell, I'm a whole lot closer to these prairie dogs than I was back home. So this right here is Bella and down here is Rampage, please don't bite me. Uh, and these are two quote unquote domesticated prairie dogs. So you guys may look at this cute little fellow and think, oh, it's like a little hamster, I want one. But they're horrible pets, terrible. And it, as you can see, it's peeing all over me, <laughs> to further my point. These guys will burrow through any sort of plastic enclosure you put them through, any wood. Uh, they'll, they'll bite. I just got bit by one a few minutes ago off camera. And they actually spread the plague more so than rats. They're super susceptible to it. So overall, just a, just an animal you don't need in your home. That's actually where we got these guys from pet owners that thought they'd have a cute little addition to the family. Oh, maybe it's like a real dog. And they were surprised to find that it peed all over you and uh, didn't want him anymore. So they sent him here to Gator Country so they can live a nice, somewhat normal life. And it bit me again. Here's a peace offering. Take it. Want a nut? Want a nut? Oh, look at that man and nature become one. Now you guys may be thinking prairie dog, you know, it doesn't, sort of an ugly looking dog. These guys aren't related to dogs at all. These are actually a type of ground squirrel. So if you look in the face, pretty squirrel-like. They're both rodents, but these guys are a very special ground squirrel because they are highly, highly social. I mean, chances are if you've been driving down the road, you've seen a, a colony of these little guys. They're super social animals and they have a really cool hierarchy in their little society. So then why are they called prairie dogs? Well, because of that little voice right there. That is a bark. They bark to communicate and they have a whole bunch of different little squeaks and sounds they make that mean a whole lot of different things. So what makes these little guys different from any other run-of-the-mill boring old rodent is that they are highly, highly intelligent. You may look at this thing like, oh, it just looks like a dumb little rat to me. These guys are actually very intelligent because of their language. It's sophisticated, more so than most other animals on the planet, and let's sort of decode that. When looking at animal intelligence, you can often look at things like problem solving, tool use, and memory to gauge how smart an animal is. And even though prairie dogs are pretty lacking in those departments, they make up for it with their incredible language. From what we understand so far, the most advanced out of any non-human animal. To decode it, let's start with the basics before getting into the truly mind-blowing aspects of it. Since their succulent little bodies are appetizing for so many animals, prairie dogs have alarm calls to let others in their group know that they see a predator. However, they don't just have a universal call for predator, they have different words to describe different species. They have a different call for a hawk, a different one for a coyote, and even one for humans. Having different calls are important because they respond to each threat in a different way. For a coyote, they all come to the surface to see where their attacker is, whereas for a hawk, they all head underground. They even have a totally different word from coyote to describe a domestic dog, even a breed that looks similar to a coyote like a German Shepherd, and they never get the two confused. Also, data is coming in that prairie dogs even have words for non-threatening animals like cows and pronghorns. Now that's some pretty basic stuff, but this is where it gets kind of crazy. These guys don't just have nouns stating what different species are, they have adjectives to describe each one. 
If they saw this strapping young lad walking into their territory, they wouldn't just say the word human. They would say tall, thin, yellow human. They have different words to describe the size, shape, and even color of any perceived threat in their area. This is what motivates me to stay in shape because I never want to walk through a prairie dog colony and hear them calling me fat, which is crazy that they can actually do. They're also able to describe objects they've never seen before and come up with new words. When shown an ominous black oval, all the prairie dogs in a colony use the same words to describe it. Which was probably something along the lines of, Behold, a dark harbinger of the final days of this universe. A reminder that everything we love will eventually be as black as this. A starless void, where all our memories and creations will be for naught. And we are left to wonder, was it all worth it? That or just look, a big black round thing. They've even been able to invent a new word to describe a gun, so they can tell their group what level of threat a human has. Something they don't have words for are genders, so they can't differentiate between a male and female human. Which makes sense, because all prairie dogs look pretty much exactly the frickin' same. The hottest Brittany doesn't look much different from the studliest Chad, so why would they think that Stacy is a girl and Brandon is a guy? And why would this article even bother to mention something so obvious? Anyways, besides their alarm calls, they have other chatter-like calls that they use to talk to one another. And although they're definitely saying something, we don't know what exactly, since they don't show any obvious behavioral changes in response to them. This means their language is even more complex than what we currently understand of it. And I look forward to the day where man and prairie dog can sit down and have a civilized chat. But until then, I guess they'll keep biting me. Man, what are you doing down there? <laughs> so next time you're driving down the highway and you see a whole colony of these guys, you may look at them in a whole new light now, because now you know they're one of the more intelligent animals in the world, they have a cool language, and they're sort of cute, hate to admit it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow along on my new and upcoming animal adventures, and I will see you along the way. Thank you guys so much for watching.